Hello, great masters versus students. We we'll are continue with our lesson, chemistry. I'm still your chemistry teacher, Mr. Chidube Odemenam. Today, we'll be looking at, uh, continue with our lesson for SS2, mass-volume relationship. We'll continue from where we stop. And today, we'll be looking at uh, some equations that involve uh, volume. Number of moles equals to volume of gas divided by molar volume. Molar volume, but I believe I've mentioned it before. Molar volume is the volume occupied by one mole of a gas. Molar volume is the volume occupied by one mole of a gas at STP, standard temperature and pressure. Then we have this equation that says number of uh, moles is equal to mass over molar mass. Which means we can say that volume of uh, gas over molar volume is equal to mass over molar mass. If we Call this one equation one, and we'll call this one equation two. We'll now combine equation one and two. We have uh, volume of a gas over molar volume is equal to mass over molar mass, which means we can say that volume of a gas is equal to mass times molar volume divided by molar mass. Remember we said mass volume relationship. Therefore, if you look at, if you call this in equation 3, you see that there is volume, there is mass. That is mass volume relationship. Note this equation because we are going to use it to solve problems. What we are doing is just some other textbook will call it a mole concept. We've defined mole before, but we want to see how we can use it to solve problems. Let us look at example one. Example one says, uh, <coughs> what is the volume of uh, volume of uh, 2.2 gram of uh, CO2? at STP. If you look at this question, you discover that uh, there are ways you can solve this problem, but uh, let us use equation 3 to solve this problem. Let's use equation 3 to solve this problem. Say, what is the volume? For we have volume of CO2 will be equal to Mass 
times molar volume divided by molar mass. The molar mass of uh, CO2 the molar mass of CO2 is carbon is 12 oxygen is uh, 16 times 2 that will give you 44 for the molar volume I've already told you this thing before that the volume occupied by one mole of a gas at STP is 22.4 dm cube Therefore, what we now have is that uh, volume of uh, CO2 is equal to mass 2.2 multiplied by molar volume 22.4 dm cube. The mass here is in gram divided by molar mass 44 gram per mole. For when you Solve this, use your calculator. Use your calculator. When you solve this, you have uh, this thing is in dm cube, while this one is in gram. Therefore, you convert this thing to, if you convert this 22.4 uh, dm cube, if you convert it to cm cube, it will give you. 22,400 cm cube. For if we put this in, 22,400 cm cube. Our answer will be 1,120 cm cube. Even if you don't get everything right, by being fast and writing it. After the lesson, go through the, your note again. You can, on your own, do the calculation and see whether they are correct. But they are correct. That is a number one question. Remember in this number one question, there is mass volume relationship. They gave us the mass. I want us to find the volume. And we have, this is the volume of uh, CO2. Volume of uh, CO2 is equal to 1120 cm cube. Let me give you an alternative method. Assuming that you forgot the, if you forgot the equation, you can still solve this problem by finding the number of moles of uh, CO2. Number of moles of CO2 is mass over molar mass. The mass there is 2.2. The molar mass is uh, 44. Is equals to 2.2 divided this one is 1. 2.2 divided this one is 20. You can use your calculator to check it. Therefore, that will give you 1 over 20, and 1 over 20 is equals to 22 
uh, usually in Twenty percent. Remember, he says assume, but the actual percentage of oxygen in air is more than twenty percent. Twenty-one point something. Therefore, solution. How do we solve this? How do we solve it? The first thing you think about. Kelechi, how do we solve this? Yes. The first thing you look at, look at is to find the volume of air in the room. The volume of air in the room will be gotten from the volume of the room. You know that the room is three-dimensional. Therefore, volume of CO2 in the room Sorry, sorry, not CO2, volume of uh, air in the room. Will be equal to length times width times height. And uh, you have uh, our length here is uh, 10 multiplied by our width, 4 times height, 8. That will give us uh, 32, 320 meters cube. <clears throat> As we have gotten the uh, volume of air in the room, the next thing is that we'll change uh, this thing to cm cube. 320 meters cube will give you 320 times 10 raised to power 6 centimeter cube. Which, if you want to put it in standard form, becomes 3.20 times 10 raised to the power 8 cm cube. Therefore, we have gotten the volume of uh, air in the room. For the next thing is for us to get the 
volume of uh, oxygen in the room. We say that the air contains 20%. We say that air contains 20% oxygen. Therefore, you find the 20% of uh, volume of oxygen will be 20% of uh, the volume of air. Zero zero five one. Therefore, when you divide it, you have uh, six point uh, six point four times ten raised to power seven cm cube. We have gotten the volume of uh, oxygen. The next thing is uh, remember it says calculate the mass of oxygen. Since we have gotten the volume of oxygen the next thing is uh, For us to use this formula that says mass over molar mass is equal to volume of gas over molar volume. We are looking for mass. Therefore, we we'll make mass the subject of the formula. Mass now will be mass of oxygen will be equal to molar mass times volume of oxygen divided by sorry please look at uh, this place is not supposed to be molar mass this place is molar volume. For you have uh, molar mass times molar vo um, times volume of oxygen divided by molar volume. Therefore, having done that, the molar mass of oxygen O2 is uh, 16 times 2, which is uh, 32 gram per mole. Therefore, for we have 32 multiplied by volume of oxygen is uh, 6.7 times 10 raised to power 7 cm cubed. Divide by molar volume is 22, 400 cm cube. Cm cube, this one is gram per mole. <coughs> when you solve this, you have a mass of oxygen. Mass of oxygen will be 9.142857 times 10 raised to power 4 gram, which you can say approximately 9.14 times 10 raised to power 4 gram. On your own, just uh, divide it. There is no need of you are in SS2. There is no need of going into details. Use your calculator and determine whether this thing is right or not. All right. Let's look at... Uh, let me rehearse what we have done. For you to do 
this mass volume relationship, you must know your formulas. And some of the formulas I've written, so many of them even before now. We know that number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. We know that number of moles is equal to volume of gas over molar volume. We know that number of moles is equal to number, uh, number of atoms over Avogadro's number. All these equations, you must know them. When you know them, depending on the question they ask you, you will know the one that is very appropriate. For let us look at uh, this other density. Or relative density. Relative density. You can write. Well, let us know what density is first before we we'll talk about relative density. Density of a substance is the mass of a substance in kilogram per unit volume in m cube. Therefore, density is equal to mass in kilogram all over volume in m cube. You can equally see that density is uh, mass in gram all over volume in cm cube. That's why sometimes they say that the unit of uh, density is gram per cm cube or kilogram per meters cube, depending on the what you are given in the question. For well, having done that, we talk about density, or you can say that density is mass per unit volume. It's still okay. Mass per unit volume. For let's look at relative density. Well, for purposes of knowing what you are doing, it is just density compared to density compared to density of water. But let's put it in a, a sentence. Relative density is density of a substance. Relative density is density of a substance compared to the density of uh, equal mass of water, which means you can say that relative density is equal to mass all right, is equal to density of a substance divided by density of water, equal mass of water. When you are dealing with gases, when you are dealing with gases, the relative density becomes this. You don't use water as the reference. For mainly this one is for liquid. If it's gas, relative density of a gas is equal to density of the gas divided by density of a hydrogen. For depending on what you are giving, you know how to 
apply it. If it's liquid or solid, you use a density of the substance divided by density of equal mass of water. Let's look at some problem relating to this. Example 1. Example 1. An oxide of nitrogen An oxide of nitrogen has a molecular formula NX O two X. The relative density of the gas is forty six. Note that relative density have no unit. Because the unit of the density of gas and the unit of density of hydrogen is the same. Therefore, it will cancel itself out. For what is the molecular formula of this oxide? of nitrogen. <clears throat> the first thing is uh, you have to remember what you have been taught when we were doing gas laws. Some of the equation, uh, equation we have when we are doing gas law, we say that molar mass molar mass is equal to 2 times relative density. You may say at that time we didn't uh, call it relative density. At that time we said it is, uh, we said that molar mass is equal to 2 times vapor density. Vapor density is the same thing as saying relative density of a gas. Therefore, the molar mass of uh, NXO2X will be equal to 2 times 46. That will give you 92 grams per mole. Therefore, we have found the molar mass. But what, what, what they ask us here is what is the molecular formula? Therefore, usually we say that a molecular formula is a empirical formula. Here, the empirical formula is NXO2X times Y. Where Y is the number of uh, the ratio of the here we where y is the number of times this NXO2X appears. From here now, we know that uh, N therefore, our 
Nitrogen is uh, 14 X plus oxygen is 16 times 2, which is 32 X is equals to 92. For when you have uh, 46 X is equals to 92. Your x now will be 92 divided by 2. That will give you, sorry, divided by 46. That will give you 2. For the molecular formula, will now be N, X, O, 2, X, multiplied by 2. Therefore, if x is 2, you now have n, 2, o, 4. This is the formula of the gas. x, we find out here is, x here is 2. Therefore, 2, x here is 2, you replace it by 2. Therefore, 2x will be 2 times 2 to give you 4. There's no need of adding this. Well, that's how to solve this. I think we'll be stopping here. When we we'll come next time, we look at a uh, stoichiometry of uh, reaction. Stoichiometry, let me just... Stoichiometry is a, is a calculation of amount of moles or grams of reactant and product involved in chemical reaction. Or simply put, stoichiometric is the number of moles of reactant and product in a chemical reaction. Simply put, stoichiometric is the number of moles of reactant and the number of moles of product in a chemical reaction. Well, let me rehearse what we have done, which you should know. The summary is, you need to know the various equations for calculating number of moles. Then from knowing the various equations for calculation of number of moles, you can use it to find whatever you are given. The first one is number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. The second one is number of moles is equal to volume of a gas divided by molar volume. The third one is number of atoms divided by Avogadro's number. The fourth one is number of moles is equal to number of uh, molecules divided by Avogadro's number. Even if you are given ion, it will be number of ion divided by Avogadro's number. Even if you are given electron, it becomes number of uh, Number of electron divided by Avogadro's number. I will feel that uh, with what we have done, you should be able to do this little assignment I'm giving you now. Evaluation. One, calculate the volume of uh, SO2 gas in 32 gram of SO2 at STP. Calculate the volume of uh, NO2 in 
3.2 times 10 raised to power minus uh, no 3.2 times 10 raised to power 20 molecules of NO2 3 calculate the mass of CO2 in 5.4 dm cube of uh, CO2 gas. All right, I will feel that uh, you will be able to do this by applying the equations that I have given you that will help you to solve this problem. I remain your chemistry teacher, Mr. Demenam Chidube. Remain safe. Thank you.